they're really big up front. That's the part people don't talk about, the size of their offensive linemen, and they're humongous. I mean, they're really big, and they lean on you. They wear you down. They go up-tempo. They go really good pace, um, and they do run the ball. So it's not like it's just a, it's a great RPO uh, offense. They do a tremendous job. He always has. I mean, I remember watching East Carolina. He really does a great job. But you do have to stop the run, and they've got good backs with which to do it. Kirby Smart clearly has a lot of respect for the Oklahoma run game, and here you can see why. More than five yards per rush, 250 yards per game. Rodney Anderson is a big reason why. So, BMAC, you've gone to the tape here. Why is Anderson so effective here in the backfield as you tell it straight on the Sooners running back? He's a downhill runner, Ray. And when I mean by saying a downhill runner, this is a guy, he loves to run north and south. East and west is not his forte. He sees the hole, he attacks the hole. And he does a phenomenal job in falling forward. He mm. falls forward every time. That's a great attribute to have. And outside of Rodney, the offensive line, they have done a, a phenomenal job this season in getting a hat on the hat. When you look at this game against TCU, a team that many felt had the best defense in the Big 12, Rodney Anderson and this offensive line, they had, they, they had a field day against TCU. Right now, you get ready to see a counterplay. And the thing about this play that I would love to emphasize about Rodney is that I said earlier, he's a downhill runner. He's a guy that loves to run north and south. When you look at the offensive alignment right now, they're doing their job. Hat on the hat. Hat on the hat. Hat on the hat. You got one defense alignment that's already on the ground. That's a no-no from any defense alignment standpoint. You cannot be on the ground at the line of scrimmage. And when you look at Rodney Anderson in this play, right now when you look at this play, Ray, viewers, look at the lane. This is the lane right here, right? When you look at the offensive alignment, they're doing everything that they're supposed to do. They're making contact. But this is the lane initially. When you see this, 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 this spot right here on the highlight, instantly you, you're thinking that Rodney Anderson will hit this lane and attack the end zone. But I said he's a downhill runner. He does not like to run east and west. And because of that, he's going to be patient and he's going to allow a closer hole to open and that will allow him to do what? Go downhill. And because of the job that the offensive linemen are doing, look at this play right here. That offensive lineman, he has taken his defender out of the equation. Rodney is able to get quality yards. When you look at this run offense, they love getting big-time plays, splash plays. Once again, from this end zone angle. Right now, this is the best block right here. When you look at Big Brown, the left tackle, potential first-round selection, if he does not get this cutoff block on this defensive lineman right here, he will have an opportunity to potentially get a tackle for a loss. But because of this cutoff block, this will provide a quality running lane for Rodney. And when you look at the job the other offensive linemen are doing, they're doing a quality job. Like I said, this was supposed to be the lane right here. He was supposed to go this direction, Ray, but because of his style of running, downhill guy, he's able to cut it upfield, and now he's looking for extra yards. Explosive running back. When you look at their ability to have at least 10-plus yards on running opportunities. It's tops in college football, and a lot of that has to do with the run of Rodney Anderson and also the offensive line. Well, it should be interesting to see and how it plays out here for the Sooners. A great running back. We've seen some great ones in recent years, yeah. and Joe Mixon, Samaj P. Ryan, and uh, he's a pretty good one as well.